Hey guys, it's Jen. Okay, this is canvas. Um, actually, canvas, not the canvas that we use to create our program. Um, I have uh, painted this. Um, it actually had a saying on it. I got it from a store for a dollar. So I had a saying on it. So I went through and actually painted um, all of them um, for just, you know, for whatever and got them ready. So if I ever wanted to put vinyl on them or wanted to paint them, that I could. So this is just spray painted. Um, and then that's the sealer that's going to allow my vinyl to stick to these. Because you want to seal it with something. Um, or else your vinyl will not stick. And I have found that any non-glossy uh, type of paint or sealer tends to work well. So even my, let me see if I have it here quick. My polycrylic, I get in the satin. So there's the, the satin, let me see. There's the satin. I get it in satin. So I don't have a problem with my um, vinyl adhering to it, um, but I hear a lot of people saying that they are having troubles getting things to stick, and I can't help but wonder if it isn't because the paint is glossy. I know if you try to put 631, um, even 651 on walls that have gloss paint, it won't stick, um, and it is because of that paint. So if you try to use a satin, I think that'll have a better outcome for you. So let's get busy on this. Okay, so we're here at the machine. Got to plug my stick in to my extension cord. Okay. Well, why does my machine have that little gray at the bottom? It's because I have the 12 inch mat selected. So let's come over. Back it out here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hit the wrench tool or the wrench button. Cut area. Okay, I'm going to come in here and hit the 12 by 24. But some people have that darkening of their screen, and that's because you can come in here and physically change that right there. Don't do that. That'll drive you crazy. Okay, now that little dark line is gone. Okay, cut. Now, you can come in here and adjust your cut pressure if you need to. Mine is always at a minus one unless it is tearing or if it's a really intricate design, I will take that down. And to take it down, you have to keep pressing. You can't just press and hold. It's not going to do anything. Okay, I'm going to check my blade depth. Also, this gives me the perfect opportunity to open the end cap, blow out anything that might have gotten in here from the last time I used it. And we need to do that because our blade just floats in there. Okay, and I only want to see a little bit of that blade poking out. That'll be enough to cut that vinyl. Kiss cut it is what it's called. You just want that blade to kiss that vinyl. Alright, so I'm going to leave that bad boy set about right there. I'm using the matte black 651. Okay. Click OK and start. And I, I like the way the matte black lays and I find that it does not bubble as much as the gloss vinyl does. So I'm going to let this cut and then we will come back to it. As my machine's cutting over there, I'm getting ready, okay? I have a nice hard piece of granite because I want to be able to squish that down um, when it gets over here. Oh, what, what, let's see. No, that one's going to be too big. Okay, so I have to go get my other smaller piece. Okay, 
both of my granite pieces were too big. So I have these old pieces of wood. I'm just going to use them. And don't let your, uh, try not to leave this sit because it will stretch. Um, so I'm going to wait until that's done and then I'll bring it on over. Um, weed it and then put it on here. But you want something so that when you press, that you're not pressing down on the vinyl as it just sits in its little rails right here. Okay? Because you're going to stretch that. And you don't want to stretch your vinyl. It won't look right. Alright, so that's done. I'm going to go grab it and get it weeded. And then we will get ready to put it on. Alrighty, so... I have it all weeded. Ugh. I have it on the transfer tape. Now I just get to decide where I want to stick it on here. going by the kids' name and their birthdays. Because the branch itself is crooked. Now I'm going to run this over it where it's nice and hard. Okay, it has the boards underneath and where it's not, I'm not going to. I'll move it around so that it can be but the important thing is is to treat your canvas with either paint or some sort of clear sealer that's not gloss because I have found that glossy stuff does not like to stick to vinyl. Oops. Oops. And you're just going to go through and work your way all around your design. Whatever that might be. Hang on, let me check the camera angle. I managed to work my way all over the table. Okay. Let me get a little bit more juju right here. Just be extra careful where you can't get those boards. Or whatever you have to smooth it down. And just a gentle peel. Don't ever rip this stuff off quickly because you never know what might still be sticking to the <clears throat> transfer tape. Try to pull your whatever it is, be it vinyl, whatever, all back onto itself. That's what I found usually works the best. 
right here in the middle is going to be pretty tough because that piece of wood that goes down the center doesn't allow me to get in there. But you see, painting, <clears throat> painting it really is the key. It's almost like um, they put a lot of sizing on the canvas. <clears throat> is what it's like. Because when you have HTV, if you ever do HTV on a shirt that's got a lot of sizing in it, it's the exact same thing. That vinyl won't stick either, no matter how much heat you add. Oops. Or pressure. that all that's off go through and start to just kind of gently smooth this down and actually the yellow one is better for this because you don't ever want to use a hard object on your vinyl because if it catches it it will probably rip it <clears throat> application tool to allow that vinyl to move. And you'll see I prefer to use my finger a lot help smooth this stuff out. And we are done! I don't know if that'll catch it good enough. And I like the way it shines. Well, there it is! So now it is ready to hang because this is 651 so it's not ever going to come off. I do not need to coat it. There's a couple little bumps there but those aren't air bubbles. Those are pieces of the canvas. Okay? So that's how you go about putting vinyl on canvas. Make sure that your canvas is sealed first either via a clear sealer that is a matte or a satin but try try to stay away from the glosses I think that's what <clears throat> kind of makes it so that it doesn't want to stick okay guys have fun and if you have any further questions come and find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook thanks a lot guys